Hello! The purpose of this video tutorial is to present the various functionality of the WISE Mixing Desk. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to achieve excellent results when mixing a game, particularly when using game states. In particular, you will learn how to create and manage mixing desk sessions, customize the view's settings, monitor audio playback, and use states for dynamic mixing. To display the mixing desk in WISE, you can select it from the Views menu or use the Control shift m keyboard shortcut. As with the Soundcaster, mixing desk layouts are saved within sessions. To create a mixing desk session, switch to the Sessions tab of the Project Explorer, right-click the Mixing Sessions section, select New Child, and then Mixing Session. A mixing desk session can hold various types of audio objects including buses, audio, and interactive music objects. To populate the mixing desk, simply drag the objects from the Project Explorer to the mixing desk. To reorder an object, drag the object name to its new position. You can change the width of the strips as well by pressing the control key while rolling the mouse wheel. You also have access to a number of options and commands in the shortcut menu. To access these menus, simply right-click a property. For instance, you can bypass effects or change the output bus of an object. The objects placed in the mixing desk are set up much like a console strip. Notice how the various properties like volume, pitch, and inserted effects are displayed on the left side of the mixer. You can customize this by adding or removing the properties that are displayed. To do so, click the Views Setting button located on the right side of the Mixing Desk title bar. To display a property control in the Mixing Desk, select the associated checkbox. To remove a property control, simply clear the checkbox. For example, let's say we were creating a game for the Wii platform only. We could remove the LFE controls within the states and the property sections because these properties are not available for the Wii. The height of the vertical faders can also be adjusted by modifying the number of pixels used. When you are done modifying the view settings, click OK to go back to the mixing desk. You can monitor playback activity while simulating in WISE or while connected to a game. In both situations, you will have to start a capture session and be sure that the Follow Capture Time button is activated. Let's now look at an example. In this case, the sound Eerie Tunnel is routed to the bus AMB, which then goes through the master audio bus. You can see that the playback indicators are highlighted in green for all objects associated with the playback of the sound. When a bus is muted, the C and or P indicators will be lit up, which means that either a child or parent bus is currently being muted. If you are not hearing certain groups of sounds, this could explain why. This section will show you the workflow for dynamic mixing using state groups in the context of the mixing desk view. If you are not familiar with the states mechanism in WISE, we recommend that you watch the video tutorial Dynamic Mixing Using States before continuing, as it will allow you to better understand this section. One thing that is important to remember is that mixing desk sessions are not mixer snapshots that are called at runtime. Mixing desk sessions are mostly for organizational purposes and to quickly go from one group of objects to another. The mixer states created in the state groups are the mixer snapshots that will be called at runtime. For this reason, and because the person mixing the game will often have to adjust the mix based on game states, the mixing desk has a series of options to facilitate the mix process. Let's look at these options now. First of all, we can start by subscribing the AMB bus to the game state game intensity. This can be done in two different ways on the States tab of the Objects Property Editor or directly in the Mixing Desk. To do it in the Mixing Desk, simply right-click the State Group section for the bus and then select the Set State Group option from the shortcut menu. 
the name of the game state will appear on the state group line. If we look in the editing states section of the mixing desk, you can see that the state group game intensity is now displayed. If we click the drop down menu, the three states within that state group are displayed calm, stress, and fight. A default state called none also appears at the top of the list. Let's select the calm state and set the volume of the object to minus 10 dB. The R indicator beside the volume is telling us that the minus 10 dB is relative to the object volume. If we click this indicator, we can set the value to absolute, relative, or disabled. Now, if we switch to the stress or fight states, we can set different volume values for this object. The follow states mode determines whether the states in the mixing desk will follow the state changes from the game. When enabled, all state changes from the game will be reflected in the mixing desk. As you work with the mixing desk, you will see that this is a great way to monitor what is happening at runtime. There are, however, some situations where you will want to disable this mode. For example, when you are adjusting the properties of a particular state, you don't want the mixing desk to change the state while you are mixing. The push states mode allows you to force a state change in the game. When you select a new state when this mode is selected, the state is pushed to the game at runtime. This can be very useful when you want to do mix comparisons between two states, for example. Finally, the Copy Custom States option allows you to copy the property settings from one state to another. This is especially useful when you want a state settings to be derived from another state. For example, let's say you just mixed the Calm state for a series of objects. It is quite likely that when you start mixing the Stress state, you will want to start from these mix settings. To do so, simply click the Copy Custom States button to open up the view. From there, select the state group and then select the From and To states. For this example, we will set the From to Calm and the To to Stress, so that the Calm state settings are copied over to the Stress state. In the Affected Objects section, you will see the list of all the objects that currently subscribe to the Game Intensity state group. From there, you can select which objects will inherit the copied settings. Click OK to copy the state settings to the selected objects. The Copy Custom States command is also available from the shortcut menu. You simply have to right-click the state group section of an object in the mixing desk. That's it! You now have a good idea of how to create and manage mixing sessions for your project. For further information about the mixing desk, refer to the Mixing Desk section of the WISE Help.